the crypto market is below a trillion dollar trying to go back up but it's getting pushed to the downside and with this correction you are observing a lot of uncertainty in the market you can see there is a possibility that this can go wrong and again you understand like okay your tokens are in exchanges which may not be safe because you get a lot of exchanges connected to this ongoing issues now as this evolves a lot of leveraged institutions traders all of them will have the implications coming in you need to understand the projects which are built on strong fundamentals will sustain here you get the point like okay usdc is getting attention it's getting adoption and the rails on which it runs is also being increased so right now you actually see how things are evolving and you're like okay fine big institutions are entering they are preparing to custody a stable coin inside blockchain now understand usdc usdd all of these are like you know the erc 20s fine so now if you look at this okay usdc and usdd are live on xrp ledger you have an option to scale this particular stable coin which is okay now but when institutions like this with that big watch just enters the arena now you actually need something different that's why in the recent world economic forum we actually just listened to circle ceo highlighting okay they would be using or uh, they would be looking forward to join a company like brad's to scale things happening and we have already seen how they are actually going on right we have actually observed stablecoin being issued on xrp ledger stellar so this is one of the big fundamentals which is there in the market right now but you actually see a lot of other projects which have negative sentiment or even you don't see a lot of fundamentals in the project and you're still like okay that project is still running there it's still fine but then it comes to this one fine okay that's crypto side of it but within that you have a stock side of it right say coinbase stock is going down 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 and already inside coinbase you have a lot of limitations if you are in us and you are in coinbase you already know those fine so as this evolve the correction is being going that direction and if you actually get these kind of issues coming in that kind of accelerates the current issue but one thing which you have to note here this is the most recent news and that actually shows a miner is going down fine your power of uh, validating each transactions is going lower fine your supply is reducing mm -hmm. so the ability as a blockchain getting disrupted with a um, storm like this may not be actually good now that actually goes back into the long-term viability of blockchain long-term sustainability of blockchain say we are not here only saying xrp as you guys know we do talk about xlm we do talk about xdc you know all these payment tokens they are getting adoption but yeah we do understand that xrp ledger is on top and it kind of has a lot of functionalities which we are evolving and watching right now when you enter into the market you have a lot of questions i do understand that even i look at the chart and ask like okay this is a medium term pattern and we are at the support what can go wrong mm, we'll have to look at the chart and discuss through that what's positive in the market what's negative in the market you need to understand both of them before you actually do something inside your portfolio because if you're going to go start a new trade you may have actually have to look at this you may really need to look at this and ask the question like okay um, how much do you think this can go down if it goes wrong and if it works out well how high this can go so that you take your profit on the right time welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly in one of our recent videos we actually discussed 
about the skill sets you need. And before that, we actually discussed about the rules you should follow. Because if you knew both of them, you kind of have an edge in this market looking at this and getting these points way before a lot of other people. So you can get your portfolio positioned in that way. Fine. So now you look at this and you're like, okay, on a medium term, you are doing fine. You are at the support. You're waiting for a bounce. But now that when you go into a long term support, you're like, okay, we are below this. Mm, if getting rejected here, that means you're going back to 0.3 range. But if you are able to break through this one, your next level of resistance is going to be around 0.5. So now we are literally waiting there, observing, okay, what the market is going to come up with next. You actually see a lot of exchanges, mostly, you know, small exchanges, getting hit hard. They're becoming insolvent. You know, you actually see a lot of issues happening what you have to look at is exchanges which are advancing which are progressing which are coming out with different products you know they are recreating themselves in different way getting liquidity because being liquid during these hard times is really important so if you are in an exchange where your liquidity is running low that's a negative sign because you won't be able to take your assets out of the exchange even if you want to so when you are still liquid, take your assets, move it on to a different storage, which you handle yourself. Now, Ledger is one of the most safest and easiest one to use. So Nano is fine or fine. You know, you, either you can use X and S, depends upon which assets you have and uh, how much you really want to invest. Now, there's not too much difference in that, but still, that's worth the investment considering you have a lot of different exchanges getting hit hard in one way or the other you look at the crypto market and you're like ah, i don't know how this is going to turn out because these are not small numbers this can shake the market a bit and we are already getting shaked now there are other stuff macro fundamentals evolving sign you know kind of showing there is a lot of stocks in a lot of warehouses for big suppliers so if you are in that market in thinking like okay inflation can actually go much higher because july the fourth is actually coming in and they are like no 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 no, we have supply a lot of it so we are going to reduce the price this may actually go in another way inflation goes down fed don't have to increase the interest rate like 75 or 100 basis point they may go a little 25 the market rallies Fine, because the next one is going to be in August inflation rate and Fed comes in September. See, you kind of get August, September, two months where the market is rallying. But before you break higher, if you understand that, okay, the Bitcoin dominance is slowly dropping here, which may actually give all coins room to run, that gives you an idea to go look at the market thinking like okay which of these assets you are interested in now we are looking at xrp precisely fine on a shorter term we do understand we have support here we're getting supported there we need to bounce and break through the 200 day moving average now if we go on to xrp btc we are waiting for this to break higher as the bitcoin dominance goes down and the altcoin market goes up you need this to happen on a short term scenario when you zoom in on the altcoin market there's a three day chart zoomed in to see what's happening you still have a possibility if you're not breaking higher you may come back to this long term trend line support now you're looking at the rsi moving out and looking at it on a macro to see like okay what can go wrong or uh, what are the possibilities that you may still have another big run coming so as you wait inside this market and observe like okay the macd is tending to the downside and it really seems like it is at a support and then the rsi is suggesting it is already at a support and like okay we need a bounce we've been going down from some time and history kind of suggests like okay you do get a pattern where you have a wick to the downside where a lot more of institutions are getting cracked a lot of retailers with leverage are wiped out and then the market goes back up 
So we now have a situation where we are like, okay, we are below the 200 day moving average on a three day chart. So can we really do that? And that's where you kind of zoom in to see like, okay, what is the trend? Mostly whenever you see the price moving inside parallel lines, it happens to be a bullish trend, meaning you are in a correction and your impulse is to the upside. So if that goes well, your Bitcoin dominance is going to go down, maybe to 37, 38, you still have five more percentage to go down, which can allow crypto market to slowly move the altcoins to be precise. Then you're coming on to the XRP ether like, okay, we've came here, we touched that point, but last week we didn't do much, but we are still inside this. If you are observing this properly, you got bulls entering here, pushing the price to test this range. But they did not actually go lower. You're still above that weekly close. You're still inside here. So there are possibilities in this week you may go higher or the following week you may break this one. So you still have the entire week to go. So you are waiting there and observing what the price is doing in terms of XRP BTC or XRP Ether. Now, you come back to the XRP chart and you're like, okay, I do get those points. But if you're an institution, what would you be looking at? Fine. You're most likely going on to a monthly chart and you're going on to this one. And you're like, okay, mm -hmm. there is a possibility that you are at the bottom point. And if you break this one, okay, I agree. That's going to be a lot more volatile than we anticipate. This is your first level of support horizontal. You are there. And if you break this, you are going much lower, which will be 0 0.2. But what are the odds for that happening? Because you look at the short term trend lines and ask yourself like, okay, the market was slowly trending to the upside. You broke that one, you retested and went lower. So is there a possibility of positivity? Getting to see like, okay, the market has done this. I think you do get that possibility of an ABC correction pattern, which is happening in the market right now. With the level of capitulation we just saw here, when you zoom in on a weekly chart from this one, you kind of see like, okay, we broke below this moving average, but we did not go back to retest that. So if you get a retest of 0.5 and it's not breaking through, that shows we may again come back to this level 0 0.29, 0 0.3. So if you are scared of these fluctuations and you need to be liquid, when we reach 0 0.5, take something out, 3%, 5%, whatever you want to do. Because when you go down, you may take another month to go down. Then to come back up, you may take another month. So that's like two months. And then if you're breaking that in a month, you may actually go super parabolic. We don't know. You are looking at the market and asking like, okay, how many of you still have dry powder to buy into the market when it is actually cheap? Because the way you see this is still the same way. It's like a descending broadening wedge, which usually breaks to the upside and you're still at the support. So you need to go higher. You need to test the resistance, which would be around 0 0.6, 0 0.63 and break higher. So as you break, yeah, you're not going to an all-time high. Instead, you get room to do a 100 percentage. So if you come here, break this range, then you're looking for the price to actually rally all the way close to 1.3, dollars $1 Now from here, that's like 4, 5x. So if you happen to make liquidity to buy into an asset, this is not a bad asset to be in. If you are a short to medium term guy, this still will aid you. Or else if you're saying, okay, I missed last time taking profits here, you get to take some profits there. Now, one of the big stuff you need to understand is after these big corrections, when the price go back up, it kind of goes nuts at one point. Even if your measured move is 0.5, you may go 0.8. Even if your measured move is 1.3, you may go to $2. We don't actually know. We'll have to sit and observe how the volatility works in the market because just this capitulation is 68 percentage. And if you'll measure from this level, that's 80 percentage. And from the all time highs of this cycle, you're actually observing that 
XRP as a fundamental asset dropped 85 percentage. Now that is actually a huge point to make there because in your RSI terms, you are actually still holding on to this particular level where you still haven't actually broken to the downside. You are at the support, you're slowly trying to bounce off the support and you have dropped 85 percentage here. So on a medium term, yes, you do get a bullish pattern where you need to break higher. You are literally waiting there to see like, okay, how the Bitcoin is working. Because it kind of actually influenced the entire market in one way or the other. And you are looking at Bitcoin like, okay, we broke below the 200 day moving average. We are trying to stay there and come back above the 200 day moving average because you definitely have to bounce from this level. Now we are looking at this point and asking this question to yourself like okay are we breaking to the downside for bitcoin as you've seen last time we've talked about this we are just breaking to the downside now if you happen to stay here or get a bounce on the next weekly candle or this weekly candle closes in green you're bouncing off you made a fake out and usually that's a good signal it's something like this you go below but you then eventually Go back up, stay there, get a couple of slow candles and then bounce to test your previous high before you actually break that and go higher. So now on a monthly chart, if you're going to look at the Bitcoin, your impulse direction is still to the upside, but the current momentum, which you can observe in the market is to the downside. You are trying to find a bottom. So you kind of get the structure David, which actually indicates we may have made the bottom most likely and people would still talk about a thousand dollar bitcoin ten thousand dollar bitcoin say robert kiyosaki is one of the um, long-term investors i've seen and learned a lot from but there are times when you have to listen to all of these guys and ask that question to yourself okay does that make sense say back in the days when uh, gold was like one thousand two hundred dollars and i think it was 27 18 2019 when i was trying to buy it and hold it say silver was like 12 dollars and i was even leveraged in silver right and i was buying that at that time robert kiyosaki highlights like okay i think we are going to drop to 700 or 600 in gold and i'm like okay we are at 1200 i'm a bit leveraged because i think this is the bottom this is the accumulation zone and i was like okay i'll cut half down so that even if the price goes down, I still have liquidity to reduce my margin. And what happens? The price go back up, it reaches like 2100. So if you look at the market and make sense of this, they are macro investors, long term, ultra long term investors. You are here reading the charts and you've been doing that for a long time. So for that, you kind of get an edge over the market. Now, what you look at is generally this pattern which we are discussing, A, B, C. And that happens to give you a signal, okay, you are most likely done. You may not go to the upside the next day, but you still have the ability to see the market actually does this over and over again. So if that's you and you observe this particular pattern in the market right now, the market is oversold it's at the bottom but one point which almost everyone don't understand is getting oversold doesn't actually mean you're going up the next day you may still stay there or you may still do a negative 5 10 percentage you don't really know so don't go leveraged if you're connecting the support you're okay just like you're breaking to the downside that is like a signal you're going bearish now when you do try to actually accelerate into these they were point in time in the last bear market where it actually felt like you're breaking to the downside the macd is crossing and it's moving to the downside but you're still in the positive territory your volume is kind of peaking out to the negative side so in next couple of months if we as we talked about the inflation if the, if it actually goes well fed is not raising 7500 basis point they're going out with 25 or just saying okay inflation is reducing we don't have to do much more that kind of gives you a ability to say like okay that's fine because you see in other countries like uk and others inflation is super high even i just saw today morning 190 percentage inflation in the nation and i'm like whoo 
if you're holding fiat in that particular country your savings were just cut right now that's not like in 10 years it just happened in three months inflation just went sky high so if you are here in this particular asset class and you are looking at a lot of different options look at it with rational look at the project look at the leaders look at what the fundamental is like not 10 years before or five years before look last six months is the developers strong are they still working on the project are they coming out with some kind of something are they still working on and the market is down that gives you the narrative okay this project is going to last they are managing themselves you go look at binance ripple you know you see all of these companies hiring when the entire market and giants like coinbase is slowly laying off people so if you are in the market and you need technicals like this for a lot of asset and we are trading right now in the market right we are there trying to position ourselves in this market so that you have the ability to trade in between the market can be slow now you're not going like a volatility trader heavy short-term trader you're going in as a position trader now we do like that because we are not here for your lamborghini or those fancy cars we are here to slowly build an empire and while doing that you go look at people who have actually achieved in hundreds of millions or billions listen to them you will understand what i'm talking about you trading and making money and knowing how the money and monetary system works is entirely different so your financial education is different you see celebrities making millions and in 10 years time they're bankrupt why they were good at making money but they were not good in managing money so you need to have both of that in a balanced manner so you make money and you do not waste it you do preserve in assets not depreciating assets because we've talked about that in most of our one-on-one session we actually give you that details how to do this how to make more cash flow right so all of those boils back down into your portfolio you are focusing on because that's the future of your family so guys if you're trading this one in any assets and you're looking for more updates like this you can look at the patreon the link is given in the description below where we talk about a lot of different assets giving you that call like okay this is breaking this is going higher we had a call on render that's going fine now it's not the only one some of them are five percentage up some of them are coming back it broke higher it's coming back to retest the support so that's where you add on or you enter it depends on whether you are a breakout trader or a retest guy fine so if you received value for your time please do hit that like button i'll meet you on the next video bye